Welcome everyone, my name is Steve Weber. I'm the Global MSP Sales Engineer here at Sophos. And today we're gonna to talk about email alert configuration version two. What this is going to allow you to do is be able to dial in the alert noise to only receive the alerts that are important to you as a partner. You can go in and make exceptions where needed. You can also go and set different alerts per team per product that they deal with. So if you have a firewall uh, department or firewall team that deals with just those alerts, you can have those sent over to a different distribution list or a different group of engineers in your team. You can also do the same for endpoints for mobile. You can also then take all of this up to the partner level. We can go in at the partner level and apply policies for the email alert configuration to all of your customers. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna dive into the Sophos Central admin dashboard. We're gonna show you from that level first, and then from there we'll go into the Sophos Central partner dashboard. Okay, so we're gonna start at the Sophos Central admin dashboard. From here, we're gonna to go to global settings, and under general, we're gonna to go to configure email alerts. This is probably a tab you're already familiar with, with uh, the configuration of alerts V1, and you'll notice that this is now changed. Inside of here, you're gonna have some new options for configuration. The first is going to be selecting which admins are going to get the alerts. This is gonna be the super admins that are already inside of your system. You can turn them on or off, depending on who needs to get the alerts, which super admins need to get those alerts. Remember, by default, all super admins are going to get the alerts, but this will allow you to come in here and turn those off if needed. You can also come into the distribution list and this will allow you to come in and assign an email address that you want to receive alerts. This can be any email address. This does not have to be unique to just this system. You can use the same support at yourdomain.com that's gonna integrate into your ticketing system. Simply come in here, hit add email address, add the email address you want and you're off to the races. Now, where this starts to get interesting is we can start coming into frequency. Now, this is where we can start making some changes and start dialing in that noise, start dialing in the alerts that we want to receive. By default, it is gonna set, be set to severity. And it is gonna be set with high alerts and medium alerts set to immediately and informational alerts set to never. If you are comfortable with this setting and you want to leave it, you can absolutely do that. You can also come through here and make any changes as needed. So obviously we'd probably want to receive those high alerts immediately. If you were not so concerned about the medium alerts, you just wanted to maybe receive those hourly or in a daily summary, you can definitely do that as well. Same thing with the informational alerts. Now what we can do is we can actually come down to set by product. So this is where we can actually come in if we had different teams and we'll show you this under the custom rules you can actually go in and start specifying who is going to, under this base policy, get these alerts and for what products are they going to get these alerts. If this was for, say, your endpoint team, you may want to take email gateway and encryption and set those to never. That team probably doesn't care about those and maybe just turn on the endpoint only in this particular scenario. So again, any of the products, you can go ahead and set those up, how often you want to receive those alerts in this case. Uh, or set them to immediate or to never inside of the environment. If you want to get really specific, you can now come in by category. This is going to allow you to come in and take a look at the alert category, and it will tell you that the products that are affected by that alert category. So you can see app your reputation is gonna be endpoints and server. Azure Active Directory is gonna to have to do with infrastructure as a service. And he blocked, again, endpoint and server, connectivity, firewall, so on and so forth. So you can really get granular as far as what do you want to enable inside of your alerting requirements. And as you can see, there are quite a few different options on here. Once you have that all set and you have it where you want, make sure you hit the save. Now, this is where we can come into custom rules. So the way to think about this is everything that we just set up is going to be a base policy. This is your bottom policy that applies to everyone inside of this group. We can then come through and add custom rules on top of that. The way to do that is we can come through and create a brand new rule. We can then assign that to a role if needed. In this case, we are gonna choose none. 
The next point is gonna bring us into a distribution list. Now from here, we can come in and see that I've got a firewall team distribution list already set up. I don't wanna receive this to uh, this particular email address here. We're gonna unselect that. And the next option is gonna bring us into the alert types. So what we can do here is we're gonna actually set all three of these different categories for this. So what type of alerts do we want to receive for this particular team? So in this case, maybe uh, these settings or what do we want to overwrite, I guess is a better way of thinking about this for that particular distribution list. These settings are going to be fine for me for what we're going to be doing. We're going to have this as our, our firewall team. So we're going to leave it as high alerts immediately, medium alerts immediately, information alerts, we don't care about, we don't want to see those. We'll then come into products. Now here's where we're gonna make some changes. Because this is gonna be going to a firewall team, they're not gonna be concerned with email gateway, encryption, endpoint, or et cetera. Right down the list, we're gonna go ahead and disable all of those features, leaving just the firewall components enabled. Now, one point on here, the firewall component that is on here has to do with the firewall management built into Central Admin. This is a brand new management tool that was just introduced a few weeks ago. Uh, if you do not have your firewall integrated into the SOFO Central Admin, uh, your alerts will not flow into Central Admin. You will not be able to utilize this. If you're still using CFM and SFM and you're waiting for this new tool to become a little more mature, that is absolutely fine. Again, this is just to show you what you can potentially do in this scenario. From here, we're now going to go to set by category. Now, because we are looking at just the products from the firewall. I can leave all of these on. If I want to, I could come through and set individual categories on here as well. What do I want us to receive per category? Maybe I didn't really care about connectivity issues for the firewall. I can turn those off. Uh, maybe there's a system health. You know, we definitely want to make sure that's enabled on there. So it allows you to turn those components off or on for the firewall. Now, again, it's only gonna to apply to the firewall because that's the products that are affected and that's the only one that we have selected here. What we're gonna do at this point is hit next and we're gonna create a name for this rule. So we're gonna call this our firewall team alerts. And at this point, we can go ahead and hit save. Now we have a custom rule set up for the firewall team, going to a new distribution list just for them just for firewall alerts. Okay, the last section here is gonna be exceptions. Exceptions are actually going to be defined from the alerts page itself. So if we actually come into my alerts, we're gonna see I've got a couple of alerts inside of my environment. And let's say we don't need to receive alerts every time a new firewall has been successfully registered. Uh, we want to receive the alert that you know a firewall is pending approval, but you know, once it's registered, we don't need that email to go out. We know that it's actually been done. What we can do is we can click on this and then we can go ahead and expand the drawer for this particular alert. What you're gonna see is a new option in here for email alert. And this is gonna allow you to change the frequency for this particular alert type. And it's gonna add it to the exceptions list. So from here, if we did not want to receive this alert for successfully registering, we can go ahead and hit the drop down. We're gonna mark that as never. You're gonna see that that's now updated inside the system. Now we're gonna go back to our global settings. We're gonna go into our configure email alerts and into our exceptions. And you'll see that we have a brand new exception inside of here. All right, next we're gonna go into the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. Okay, inside the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard, we are gonna to come to Settings and Policies, and you're gonna see a new option for Configure Email Alerts. Once you click into Configure Email Alerts, you'll be taken to Partner Control. Now, it is good to point out here that when we do turn this on, it is going to be for all of your customers. There is no option at the current moment to only select certain customers. The just like global templates, the email alerts for that particular customer will be locked down. So if we go ahead and enable this, enable our partner control, it's gonna ask me if I'm sure that I want to turn this on. We're gonna say yes, hit the turn on partner control, and you're gonna see a very similar page to what we had before. It is gonna list all of the administrators inside of your Sofo Central partner dashboard. 
as an MSP, you may want to come in and turn all of these admins off. You may not want them receiving individual alerts. Just simply come through, find the admins, and go ahead and set that yes over to a no. From here, again, you can come into your distribution list. We can set up the distribution list we want those to go to. We can set up the frequency options that we want to set, uh, whether that's you know high alerts, we want to set them by product or by category. And again, we can also come into custom rules. Custom rules will work in the exact same way. The only new component here inside of the custom rules is we can now set custom rules per customer. So let's say we want to add a new distribution list here. Maybe this is team A, and we want to go ahead and have them receive email alerts for certain customers. Now you cannot create groups for those customers at this point. What you can do is come through the list here, select just the customers that you wanted to have alerts for. In this case, I'm gonna scroll and find all of my Steve Weber lab accounts. We have, oh, let me scroll down here. I have my four Steve Weber lab accounts and I can go ahead and select all four of those and hit next. Now I'm only gonna be receiving these high alerts and all of the settings that I have here that we talked about earlier for those four particular companies inside of this custom rule. Again, you'll hit next on here and then you'll assign a name for that and this could be Steve Weber you know, Lab. Go ahead and hit save. And now we have a custom rule just for Steve Weber Lab going to a custom email address just for him. The exemptions from here uh, are gonna work a little bit different uh, we do not yet have the alerts page here where you can set the actions from here, but as they are set up, so on, once this is under partner control and you go into that particular customer central admin account and you add an exemption in there, that exception is gonna be added to this list here. All right, thank you all for attending. This was just a quick introduction to email alert configuration version two. Again, allowing you to dial back that noise, make exemptions where needed, set different alerts per product, per team, and if you want, do that all from the partner level. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.